Welcome aboard, I'm Captain Wayne, and I'll be your host for this Ocean Navigator Magazine Voyaging Tips video. Today's video I'm going to be talking about boarding ladders. Boarding ladders isn't something most people think about unless they're going swimming. But nothing can be further from the truth. A surprising number of people die by drowning in the marinas every year. This is because we let our guard down when we're in the marina. We really don't think about falling overboard or safety. But truth be told, this is probably one of the most dangerous places to be when it comes to falling overboard. We're often boarding our boats, carrying supplies, our hands aren't free to grab things, it, the boat can be moving, things can be shifting, it's easy to fall in. We think we're safe because land is just a few hundred yards away or even a few feet away. But the reality of the situation is it can be extremely difficult to climb up onto a dock from the water. This is particularly true if you're wearing a lot of clothing, like you may be while ashore. Boarding ladders are a simple device that can make you safe even while at dock. Many boats have folding transom ladders, and these can be very useful should you fall in. The problem is I see many owners lash them securely in the up position. I'm not quite sure the reason for this, but the lashings are usually not necessary. I normally recommend that the ladder have a tag line that drops close to the level of the water. This way somebody in the water can grab the line to pull the ladder down. If you do need to secure your ladder in an up position to prevent it from falling down, a piece of Velcro would be very useful for this. Somebody in the water could give the ladder a good yank and the Velcro would release. Lashings on the other hand would be utterly impossible to come loose. Some ladders are built into the stern rail and have mechanical latches to hold them closed. If possible, have a line drop that will release these mechanical latches. If this is not possible, I recommend disabling the mechanical latches and once again using Velcro to hold the ladder in an up position. Boats with scoop transoms or swim platforms often have the ladder built into the swim platform, which can make it easier for somebody in the water to deploy. For some reason though, I see a lot of manufacturers build hatches over the ladder. I guess this looks better. This is all well and fine as long as the hatch can be opened up by somebody in the water. You also want to make sure that once opened, the hatch doesn't have to be held in the open position in order to deploy the ladder. The hatch should have a gas lift or spring latch in order to hold the hatch in an open position so that you can deploy the ladder. If you do have a swim platform ladder, check it from time to time. These are down close to the water and they're often subject to corrosion, so you want to make sure that they work properly. If your boat's not equipped with a fixed ladder, you may want to consider having an emergency ladder secured somewhere on the boat. Often this can be just a simple rope ladder that can be pulled down from somebody in the water. There are several companies that make some of these that secure to the stern rail with a small line that somebody can pull and the ladder will fall down. No matter what kind of ladder you have on board your boat, you want to make sure that it's available for use in an emergency. Never assume that nobody's going to fall in at the dock. Check your ladder from time to time. If you're out swimming, see if you can actually deploy it from in the water. Well, that concludes this Ocean Navigator Magazine's Voyaging Tips video. I hope you found it useful. If you have a voyaging tip you'd like to share with our readers, please let me know. Maybe I'll make a video out of it. Please check out Ocean Navigator Magazine's YouTube channel for more voyaging tips and sailing videos. Also, be sure to check out Ocean Navigator Magazine at your local newsstand and Ocean Navigator Magazine online. Until next time, I'm Captain Wayne, wishing you fair winds and following seas.